your legs a little bit more than hip width apart I'm just going to shake out the legs a little bit and just stretching up to the ceiling and then slowly coming down and coming over you can maybe put your hands on your hips and your lower back just to help you come down and then when you can just move if that feels okay for you you can move your legs a little bit wider and then bend your legs and try and bring your head down if it reaches the floor that's great if not just wherever it hangs just relaxing it we're just going to with your knees bent your shoulders relaxed, your head and neck relaxed. I'm just going to stay here for a moment. And slowly straightening your legs and then letting again shaking your neck making sure it's not tense just dropping your hands to the floor with your legs straight and just feel that nice stretch, and we're just going to hold that for a moment. Come back to center, and we're going to take it over. To your left hand side, again, be aware of your neck and your shoulders. Let's hold it there for a moment, legs straight. It's always really nice just to get really into the pose by holding it for a moment and not rushing through. back into the center bending your knees a little bit first and making a nice big stretch looking under and then straighten your knees keep the stretch up Relaxing your neck and just letting loose with your hands supporting on the floor if they reach there. If not, just slowly moving your feet back, bending your knees and coming to standing pose and just let everything just come back to place. Just taking some nice Deep breath. Wonderful. Now we're just going to take a nice big stretch up to the ceiling. Looking up if that feels okay. And then releasing. And again, one more time. Stretching up, maybe holding your arms, your hands together. Breathing in and exhale. And one more time. Looking up to the ceiling. And exhale. Wonderful. Now just hip with the part, your legs. And your spine line. Slow. 
slowly moving to your right hand side. Breathing into the stretch. And if it helps, maybe you can put your hand on your hip and just maybe just try going down a little bit more than where you are. That's okay. This is really good for our hips, our lower back. Just coming back to center. And we're going to go down the other side, slowly moving down. And maybe bringing your, your hand to your hip. And just take a moment, breathing. if that feels okay. Never forcing, but just seeing if that's okay for you. And just holding, and we're gonna breathe into the stretch. It's quite an intense one. And coming back to center. Great, and just moving your shoulders. And now we're just going to circle our hips, making nice wide circles. You can take this a bit slower, if that feels okay, or a little bit faster if you're feeling it more energy focused. We'll just try the other side as well. There's usually one side that flows a little bit better than the other side. Well done, and again, just try playing around with that, making it your own. You can really, maybe you can incorporate your shoulders. Let's even try moving your arms, almost dancing, like a hula hoop. Do you remember the hula hoops, maybe back in the day where they used to play with hula hoops? <laughs> So just an imaginary hula hoop that we have. Good, and then just coming back to the center. Breathing in through the nose, out to the mouth. Now we're just going to move our knees. We're going to go into mountain pose, nice grounded pose. The neck, be aware, make it nice and long, maybe moving it a little, maybe releasing your shoulders. And we're just going to stay in this mountain pose for a few moments. Deep inhale to the nose, exhale to the mouth. Focusing on your breath. Just observing your body, seeing how you feel, you've moved some energy around. Just coming back to center. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. 